Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video and today, I'm going to show you how to deny all IP address uh, logged into the magnetic router. Okay, for in this video, it's really important for the uh, protect uh, our security uh, your magnetic router. Okay, from the hacker that try to uh, log in your uh, magnetic router by the SH uh, telnet or uh, Winbox or Webpack. Okay, and in this video, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to prevent or protect uh, some of IP that uh, we have to deny or some of IP we have to below or low can be accessed to the uh, magnetic router or not. Okay. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the GNS3. I'm going to show you the lab. Okay, this is the lab that we have to uh, configure uh, that we have to, to block all uh, IP address that try to log into our magnetic router. Okay, this is the uh, uh, PC for the IP manager, and this is the IP address uh, from the IP manager. Okay, this is the PC for the user 1 and user 2 and IP address also. Okay, uh, in our uh, magnetic router, uh, some of IP we have to allow for the access to the uh, our magnetic router and some of the IP we have to deny. Okay, include uh, inside local and outside also. Okay, and for in this video, I'm uh, deny all the IP address inside and outside. Okay, that log into magnetic router. Okay, and then except only IT manager IP address can be uh, logged into the magnetic router. Only uh, IT manager can access and log into the magnetic router for the manage of the uh, IP address or manage of the rule. Okay, for only the IT manager can be access to the uh, uh, magnetic router okay except uh, only IT manager okay out of uh, out of uh, IT manager cannot okay cannot access to the uh, cannot access or log into the uh, our device or uh, magnetic router this is the security for device okay we have to we have to prevent some of the IP uh, try to log in and some of the IP uh, from the hacker okay so we have to protect on all the block or uh, some of the IP that try to log into our magnetic router okay and then I'm go to the before I'm show you how to block or how to prevent how to protect okay I'm uh, go to the IT manager and try to log in and and then I'm go to user 1 and user 2 and go to log in also before uh, uh, we block okay so all the all the computer IT manager user 1 user 2 can be locked into the uh, migratory router the same the same okay before I'm blocked okay and then I'm trying to testing for you this is the window SP client one for the IT manager PC okay and then I'm go to the winbox okay and then I'm uh, log into the uh, uh, device for the winbox normally okay this is the rule that I'm uh, configured before and then I'm remove Okay, so we can uh, log in for the uh, IT manager. Okay. Okay, and then I'm go to the user two and user one. Okay, is uh, it's we client two. Okay, and then I'm log to the magnetic router also by the public IP or local uh, IP address. Okay, and then I'm go to. Okay, so we can log in also for the window client HP two for the user. Okay, user 1 and window HP client 3 for the user 3. Okay, and then I go to window HP 3 and log in also by the winbox. Okay. Okay, so we can log in, log in the same. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when the sum uh, of sum 1 and uh, when the sum of IP uh, are low, when the, so when the we, we allow all the IPs can access or log into our magnetic router is not security for our device so we have to we have to prevent we have to block some of the IP cannot cannot access or deny of the IP cannot access or log into the magnetic router okay 
this is the policy or this is the security we have to do okay and then I'm, I have to I have to show you how to protect or block or some of the IP cannot log into like the router okay and then I'm go to IT manager IT manager okay IT manager PC okay and then I'm go to the access to the multi router by the link box okay okay and then I'm go to the multi router I'm um, so you have to configure or uh, block or some of the IP address okay and then I'm go to the IP IP firewall okay okay and then I'm um, create the create the uh, IP address for the SLE at sub okay at sub uh, IT manager can be accessed or logged into the multi router you can create the you can you can create the IP address uh, for the IT manager okay this is the IP address for the IT manager so I'm so do the IP address Okay, this is the IP address from the IT manager PC. So we uh, okay, I'm changing the sort name. Okay, IT manager also. Okay, I'm create the name for the IT manager. Okay, this is the name of the IT manager PC, and this is the IP address from the IT manager PC also. I'm create the address list. Okay, for for sub okay only the this IP can be logged in or can be accessed okay and then I'm um, go to the filter okay add the new rule okay and then for the chain we change forward to the report okay and then add one okay click on the red one and for the sort address list you can click on this one and for choose the IT manager this is the name that we uh, we create the uh, address list Okay, and then you go to the accept. Okay, action. You click on accept. Okay, apply. Okay. Okay, this is the this is the rule that we allow the IP IP uh, of IT manager access to the our device. Okay. Okay, and then I'm at one rule for the deny. Okay, general and chain. Okay, and I'm put. Okay, and action. Okay, action. I'm draw choose the drop okay this is uh, the rule for the block or the IP address inside and outside that, that try to log into the our market okay and then I'm um, before I'm uh, I'm at the rule I'm visible okay I'm visible this button okay I'm this one I'm visible this one and then I'm um, go to the window SP cloud okay cloud 2 Okay, and then I'm testing ping. I'm ping to the IP address gateway from the multi router. Okay, so we can assign the molly. Okay, and then I'm ping to the public IP of the multi router. So we can say, okay, and then I'm ping the one one more network. So we can say, okay, we, we can say normally before I'm um, drop the block or drop the IP address. Okay, this is the window client HP true again, and I'm going to the window HP client 3 and ping also. Testing ping also. Okay, so we can ping the reply. Okay, and then I'm going to the gateway. Okay. okay, and then I'm going to the public IP. Okay, so we can ping. Okay, okay, and then I'm 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 go to the access the pin box. Okay, by the this IP. Okay, okay, so I'm okay. I can go. I can log in on. Okay, I can log in. Okay, before I'm the I'm enable the the block of the rule. Okay, I can log in on the normal the normal list. Okay, then I'm go to the video client SP2. Okay, I'm accept from the web box, go to the route by the So we can log in. Okay. Okay, we can do in the molly. Okay, and then I'm close this one. Okay, I'm 
Okay. Okay, and go to the SP3. Let's click on the thing also. Okay, I'm going to the uh, public IP from the person I'm going So I'm I'm ping no more and then I'm go to the this PC and block. Okay. Okay, and then I'm click on this one. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, um, I'm um, enable. Okay, and block block. Okay. Okay, when I'm um, enable, you will to check the IP. Okay, you will to check the the ping. You, you will to see. Okay, request time out. So you can see the request time out and connection is drop. Okay, from the I from the IP local and IP uh, outside also. Also, connection drop when we apply the uh, this rule, drop all the IP, and okay, and this rule for a sub IP manager, okay, and this rule block all the IP, cannot log into our marketing router. Okay, so the connection fail for the ping, and then I'm going to the uh, HP LAN bond and log into the wind box again. We can say or not. Okay, and then I'm going uh, to the public IP. And I set to the local IP the same. Okay, and then the first I set to the uh, public IP. Okay, can be logged in or not. You can check when um when we apply the rule block or IP address. Okay, that you see the okay the connection is dropped by the ping. So maybe we can log in because all the IP are dropped. Okay, so we can cannot okay error connection. I say from this IP, okay, and then I'm ping, I'm go to the local IP and say again. So okay, so you you can see we cannot access. Okay, and then one more. Okay, okay, and then I'm going to the this IP. Okay, and. And testing from the Windows XP Client 2. Okay, so we cannot access to the migrated router rewind. Okay, so I'm um, go to the Windows Client XP3 and testing. Okay, before I'm testing Windows XP uh, Client 2, and then I'm go to testing Windows Client 3. Okay, the first I'm ping to the public IP. Okay, okay, and then I'm go to the green box, access to the public IP. From the machine migrated router, this is a public IP of the machine migrated router. Okay, so um, ping file, okay, and then I'm connect. Okay, so uh, we try to connect to the multi router by the public IP file connection or error connection. So we can we can log in from the window client SP3. Okay, and then I'm logged into the IP local or gateway from the multi router again. Okay. 
Okay, I'm the king. Okay, so we can log in. Okay, one more IP. Okay, so we cannot access to the uh, multi router uh, device for the public IP. IP local also cannot access because we block, we drop the connection or we drop the IP address. Okay, and then I'm testing uh, uh, and the ball. Okay, and this uh, this ball. Okay, this this ball the rule. Okay, I'm go to the uh, middle client SP2 and I'm testing. Okay, and then I'm go to the uh, this rule and uh, enable okay okay for the this ball this is the enable rule this is um, this ball rule okay okay when I'm this ball rule I'm check to the video client sp2 you get to see the okay when I'm ping to the uh, gateway local from the my site router okay connection reply okay there you see okay but I'm um, this ball the rule okay so we can assess normally okay and then I'm go to the my site router assess Okay, so we can assess. Okay, there you see when we disable the rule. Okay. Okay, and then I'm go to the window HP client three also. Okay, connection reply. Okay, so we can connect to the windbox also. Okay. So, okay, there you see this is the rule that we have to block all the IP address. Try to lock in our my router from the inside and outside also, except only the one IP. For can access to the can access or can log into the multi router. This is the rule that we have to do. Okay, this is the security for our device. Okay, okay. Um, uh, enable. Okay, when I'm um, enable connection, connection drop the customer. Okay, let you see. Okay, uh, for in this video, it's very really important. For the security of your device, you have to think and you have to you have to implement for uh, for drop all the IP address that uh, try to access to the our multi router. Okay, for in this video, I'm uh, finished. Uh, I hope all of you uh, like, comment, and share my video also. Okay, don't forget subscribe on my video. Okay, just go my triangle. Cisco Drangle, all my Cisco learning. Okay, thank you for watching my video.